Is there, a, is there an issue of gender on that as well? Uh, for, yes, actually. For rheumatoid arthritis, uh, it's about three to one female to male. Uh, osteoarthritis, it's pretty even. Both men and women get osteoarthritis. And how is osteoarthritis diagnosed? Uh, the, well, normally you would come in uh, and you would have pain in the small joints of the fingers, typically the knees, the hips, back and neck. Sometimes it's mistaken for other problems, but it is actually osteoarthritis. So osteoarthritis is more slower onset, maybe occasional exacerbations uh, triggered by something and then settles down a bit, then comes back. Okay. So when you've got a patient with arthritis and they've been diagnosed, what kinds of things should they be talking to you about? Well, or their GP. Or, or their GP, or... because the vast majority of people with osteoarthritis are not going to be coming to see me. They're going to be seeing their family physician or they'll be seeing um, uh, allied health professionals. Uh, and what what question should they ask? I think the most important question for osteoarthritis is, what can I do to improve my symptoms and prevent the need for joint replacement? That's the mo those are the mo most important questions to ask.